Hello everyone and welcome to the second Hammer tutorial. This tutorial will work for all Source Engine games. Today we will be adding a Sky Tour level and changing the default Skybox texture. If you haven't watched the first Hammer tutorial and you are unfamiliar with creating brushes, I suggest you go back and watch that tutorial now. So to get started we're going to browse for no draw and we're going to create our box. Now if you see nothing in your 3D view, you can hold down Control, Shift, and E and that will center your 3D view on whatever you have selected. You can also press Control e to center all of your 2D views on the object that you have selected as well. We're going to create just a simple room, four walls, a floor, and a roof, using the exact same method we did in the first tutorial. Once those brushes are created, we're going to open the Face Edit Sheet by pressing Shift-A and browsing for Dev. I'm going to use the orange Dev texture for my walls, applying them using right click, and the gray for the ground. Once those textures are applied, I'm going to close the face edit sheet and browse for a texture normally and search for Tools Skybox. This should be the only texture that you get back. It should be light blue and say Skybox on it. Once you have that, select the brush that will represent your sky and press Shift T or the Texture Application tool. We apply Skybox to all faces of this brush so the no draw rule does not apply here. It's just an organization used for in Hammer to help us easily find what is sky and what is not. Once that is applied, we're going to place a player spawn, because otherwise our level will not compile, and now we're going to change our sky texture. But first to do that, you need to know the name of the sky texture that you're going to change. There's two ways you can find the name. The first one is using the Valve Developer Community, or VDC. Let's do that now. When you're in Hammer, press F1, and that should open up the VDC webpage. The VDC holds a vast amount of information about all Source Engine related material, including entity and general engine help. Once you're loaded, in the search, type sky space list and strike the enter key. You'll be presented with a list of a bunch of skies and a list of the games. So for Portal 2, you'll get this short list of sky, there's global offense, and there's a preview of each one with a name above it. If you want to use that sky, simply highlight that name and copy it. The second method is browsing for the skybox texture, which is the one I prefer. So simply search skybox in the filter, and you'll get a preview of all the textures. You'll see six textures that seemingly go together. That's because the skybox is made up of six textures. Find the sky you want. This is the one I'm going to use. It's called sky day 0105 underscore HDR. You'll notice that the end of each texture is different, the name that is. There's two letters. Those designate what side in the world the texture should be applied to. So when we browse for a texture like this, we'll leave those last two letters off. So for this texture, I want to have sky underscore day 01 underscore 05 underscore HDR. And then copy that. And now I'll go to Map Properties by going Map, Map Properties. And then where it says Skybox Texture Name, paste the sky in here. Click Apply, and then you can close that window. Save your level and hit F9 or Run Map. And then make sure everything is on normal and click OK. The compile will go relatively quickly because, once again, this is a very small level. Then load the map inside your game. It'll only take a minute for our level to load, and once we're in, we'll see that we have our sky loaded. That's actually it for adding and changing the skybox. I hope this tutorial helped you. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and stay tuned for more informative tutorials.